Hello, and welcome to another video from Warp9 Tech Design. Today we're going to talk about how do you enable outputs using macros in Mach 3. The first thing we're going to do is enable and create two outputs, number 2 and number 7. Go up to Config, Ports and Pins, Output Signals. Scroll down and create output number 2, enable it, port 1, pin 14. Output number 7, enable, port 1, pin 16. You can change those to different ports and pins if you want. You can also change them to different output numbers, but that's what I'm using here. In the spindle setup window, enable the flood and mist relays and set flood to output number 2. So uncheck that to enable flood and mist, and then for flood, which is the M8 macro, make it where it's output number 2. Hit apply. OK. Now we're going to create two new macros and place them in the folder that you're working with. So in this case, it's C colon Mach 3 macros. And in the macros folder, we have different profiles. And since we can see right here, my current profile is M codes. I'll open the M codes folder and create my two new macros, M107, M157. These names are arbitrary, but I'm using the M100 to turn it on. I'm using the M150 to turn it off. And if we open up these two files, you'll see that this is what it says in both of them. Here in M107, it's activate signal, output 7. In M157, it's deactivate signal, output 7. If you want to use a different output number, you change it from 7 to whatever the output number is. In the MDI tab, we can use M8 to turn on the flood output, M9 to turn it off, M107 to turn on output number 7, M157 to turn off output number 7. The yellow line is output number 2, port 1, pin 14, and represents the flood relay, M8 to turn on, M9 to turn off. The cyan line is output number 7, and is represented by our two special macros, M107 and M157. We'll press reset to enable, switch to the MDI tab, M8, we'll turn on the flood relay, and we saw it go high. M9, we'll turn off the flood relay, we saw it go low. M107, we'll turn on output number 7, went high. M157, we'll turn it off. It went low. Now let's automate this in a G-code file. We'll switch back to the program screen, edit G-code, and here we can see we're setting absolute distance mode, units and inches, my custom one to turn on output 7, we're just going to x is equal to 0.5. We're turning off one, output number 7, returning to the origin. Turning on the flood relay, output number 2, going to y is equal to 0.5. Turning off the flood relay, going back to the origin. Repeat the program from the first line, and we'll just repeat indefinitely. Zero everything out. Cycle start. So we're turning on output number 7, going out to x equals to 0.5. Now we're turning off output number 7, returning to the origin. Turn on the flood relay, go out to y.5. Turn off the relay for the flood. So that's how you can use different outputs in Mach 3. Mach 4 is very similar as well. Thank you for watching and have a good day.